Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are going to go gather the blood, exclamation mark. Um, I'm going to take just one blood. Just one blood vial. We have enough blood vials for the wasting heroes in town. So, this is the short mission. I'm going to assume nothing terrible will happen. I will definitely be taking a full stack of bandages because I know how this game works. Don't take a full. No, we can just take two shovels, probably. A bunch of antivenoms. Skeleton keys seem kind of useless in the in the courtyard. Holy water also seems kind of useless, but we'll take some. You know, it never hurts. Torches actually seem amazingly useful. All right. Let's begin. Let's freaking do it. I'm hoping short means short, not something ridiculous. And I assume we're going to be going to a different part of the courtyard now, not like where the Baron is. Uh, well, let's go here just to be sure that we don't need to be doing any backtracking. Mm-hmm. We do have the ability to mark people. Blight resistance down can be kind of... I mean, yeah, she's just good in general, honestly. Maybe I should actually give her lunge, now that I think about it. Oops, not, not the person I meant to click on. Should we do lunge instead of pick to the face? That means, we. I mean, in the second position, we'd be doing basically either, either flashing dagger or poison darts. I think that's a good idea. Oh, that's not lunge, that's lunge. Oh hell. Cruel machinations spring to life. Well with a singular purpose. It gnaws the back of my mind too, actually. We could just kill these two immediately, but is that actually worth stressing Redcoat out further? I don't think it is. Let's try for a stun here. A time now, to perform beyond one's limits. is he in restricted there? That's my next question. Not really. Hmm. I mean, this guy is freaking dead, but I don't know how to follow up with that, really. Eh, let's just go for him. Sure, why not? Because we could lunge forward, and that'll probably be a kill. Twelve. Uh, the bleed's not great. Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? His bleed resistance is down. So every time we heal with the occultist, we're most likely just going to bleed ourselves. That's really unfortunate. Shut up. Lunge. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Light is a hundred percent. Okay, well let's let's go for a stun instead then. Damn, that worked. Amazing. That is a problem. That's a huge issue. I did not consider that at all with the occultist. This chain does so much damage for a stun. It's pretty great. I don't know how you manage that, but alright. Probably because his, um... Give them no quarter. He has a chance to... Bleh. It's because his stun chance goes over 100%. So when checked against, you know, his resistance... Anything over 100% is subtracted. Okay, alright. Damsel in distress, okay. No, you aren't really, but alright. The corpse eater is protecting you. That's a interesting guardian. This could work, you know? It did. Much to my surprise. Now, if there's a time to rage, this is it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing it. 14, man, that is harsh. But that's 
I feel like the Abomination was like just doubled in everything it does, including stress infliction on party and damage. Because this is huge. That's a lot of damage for level 2 Abomination. That's almost as much as a level 4 Crusader. We could just dash right through all these people and bleed them all. Uh, I actually think that's the best call here. Mainly because we can't get through this guy. Well, we can't get any damage on the Cortison while the stupid what's-his-name is up. The, 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 the Corpse Eater. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Hounds Harry should actually just dash right through him and kill him all. If I could... Hmm. That's a problem. Yeah, the bleed is always gonna work. That's a... That's another problem. Not a kill on this turn, but will be a kill on the next turn. That thing's really weak. I mean, the debuffs are pretty bad, but... It doesn't do anything too impressive, to be honest. Well, now we can shift out. And, uh... Let's go ahead and do this. Because Andy's job's done, as far as I'm concerned. So much blood. Eh, heal again. Whatever, we just out heal it. We gotta resist, awesome. Mm, are you gonna bleed out too? You are not. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. She's dead. Yeah, that's that's really that's probably the creepiest thing I've ever seen in this game, actually. She just danced with dead bodies. That's um wow, that's something else. Plus 50% dodge after Shadow Fade. Very nice. Do not inflict him, please. Oh, now you turned into crazy, disgusting, whatever that is. Mm, let's just, I'm gonna, oof, you're not gonna die then. Could be a kill. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That did sting, yeah. Pretty badly, actually. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, well, I don't see any point in going that way. We can go this way. I okay, well. I'm thinking Hounds Harry. But we don't have that much. Yeah. Well, we kind of do. Damn, Continue hell yeah. I was going to say we don't have that much AoE damage, but we do. And he's now going to have zero stress. It's awesome. That kind of hurts, but whatever. This will probably hurt him. Okay, that won't hurt at all, as it turns out. It's nothing. Vigor is restored. Hell yeah, it is. You you don't want that. You don't want to. This is something that causes you to bleed. You should love that, actually. I don't know why I did that. I could have actually done something more useful than that. Because he just like he has so much self-sustain. Doesn't really matter. Damn, that's a crit. That is a crit. That's a dodge, I'll take it. All right, end this. Stop talking and end this. Okay, just kidding, don't do anything like that. Inspiration and improvement. I guess we could have gotten a heal up on, um, Sandra there, but Actually, that was stupid. I should have done stress relief 
What is, oh. Can we just take this? Yeah. I'll take all the blood. Are you wasting already? Damn. Well, good thing we found that. All right, red coat. Don't freak out, please. Don't freak out. Really? The... I'm confused. Did we find that in the hallway? Uh, forgotten delicacies. An anachronistic... Anachronistic tick? Anachronistic? Uh, wow, that's, a, that's an intense word right there. Mixture of both rotted and flesh victuals. Victuals? Adorn the cart. Damn. This game's like a freaking uh, dictionary almost. Or maybe like it's a th a thesaurus. Because you look up like something like, oh, maybe. I don't know what that means, so I, I can't actually think of the, the origin word. Maybe I'm an idiot, but I don't know. Can we burn it? Can we anti venom it? Can we bandage it? Can we put holy water on it? Can we just eat it? I'm thinking medicinal herbs probably would have done something. Oh, sweet. I could have sworn in the room that we just started in. This stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. There was a crate of winemaker's reserves that we didn't see the first time we were there. But maybe that's just me being... Oh, I mean, we have so much... Okay, I mean... All right. That's, that's basically a thousand gold, I think. Which means it would be worth it to get rid of that for a gold stack. <laughs> worth it to transform or not? I don't know. I'm also losing my voice, as it turns out. As we're recording, it's quite sad. I'm transforming. I decided it happened. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea. That's okay. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Uh, you get to die now. Okay, this guy is just gonna be debuffed to hell. It's gonna be amazing. This is gonna do like no damage. That's okay. Well, that's actually pretty hefty. I take that back. Hounds rush. Wow. Andy can still do a lot of damage, do not worry. It is okay. Bleed resistance down even further. Not that it really matters. Well struck. Well struck. Yeah, devour that. Monster's size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered. Alright, what do we got? Nothing, curio, who cares? I'm avoiding I'm I'm avoiding fights as much as possible. Because uh So what if we apply blood here? Are you serious? Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Yeah, but these aren't, so Let's get rid of the health stone. Take that instead. Oh, son of a gun. Oh. Ancient traps lie in wait. I wasn't thinking there at all. Sprung and thirsting for blood. Mm, that should be okay. I definitely need to be using Cry Havoc more often. Like, I just need to be sneaking in chances to be... You're a kleptomaniac, are you? For a task well performed. Wow, you stole the journal entry. That's impressive. Okay, so this is... Wait. I didn't see that as... We're going to continue adventuring, actually. Well, should we? Ah, oh, Chevalier, kill it. Frickin' kill it.
How should we kill it, though, I wonder? Because we do have a few interesting possibilities here now, which is this. Mark. And then when we do um, flashing daggers, we'll get more damage there on the next turn once we um, once Hien's turn comes around. We'll also be doing more damage just outright sending the hound after him. Decimated. Now flashing daggers seems really less interesting, unfortunately. So I think a stun is more interesting. We can still do hound rush or whatever it's called on him from this position. So that is fine. Now let's see, I'm kind of curious about how badly that affects him. Because this whole thing is doing a faster ton of damage with like a subterranean skewer. Might not even get a chance. Sixty-four percent damage. That should be like basically nothing. See you in hell. The fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. He did not gather the blood. He gathered pretty much nothing, actually. All right. Time to bash your face in. Oh, come on, red coat. Kill him. We are done. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Okay, nothing's here. Time to go back. I think I am gonna do um I'm gonna explore as much as possible. And I might just cut to the end of this episode, or once we're back in the hamlet. Or in other words, the victory screen. Or maybe it's defeat if I really screw things up. But if if things get screwed up, then I'll probably be showing the fight before that. The hell do we do with this? Okay, maybe not. Because there's some interesting things to explore here. I don't want to give it blood. Like, what would that do? Suppressed desires awaken? You're now a mankind hater. Okay. It's funny that that's a positive quirk, but all right. I mean, that makes sense for an abomination, actually, because, like, you're get, just getting beaten up so much by mankind and hated so much. Of course you'd hate them. Us. Yeah. All the gold. Light the torch. Go into the room. See. The frick is that? Alright. Clear these people out. We got some interesting investigation to do. Alright. Who wants to get bashed in? I question thee. A supplicant or the manservant? I hate you so much right now. We can actually drag Miss Courtesan up forward and then uh, annihilate her, probably. I would love to get a kill on the manservant, though, before he gets his stupid guard up. I'm going to do it. It just happened. Hell yeah. Now we're going to get slapped. Ow, that hurts. Painful. Pre-digestion. That... I don't see that being that great, actually. On a mark target, anyways. Now, this probably hurts like hell. Hmm. Ian's gonna go into Death's Door. What if we just rake? That won't be a kill on the courtesan. Are you joking, Andy? Ah, hell, he the very precipice of oblivion. Um. Okay, we gotta minimize damage here as much as possible. 
Six, two, one. Um, I believe red coat goes before all of them. Except for the courtesan who is now dead. Good. I hate everything right now. That's just about the worst thing that could happen. Okay, good. Oh god. I'm worried. Really, really worried now. Because this is not supposed to happen. Alright. Good. At death door at least. Hmm. Do we mark the stupid chevalier? I mean we can. That's fine. When you're attacking someone with full health, you're not gonna kill them. Okay, good. Perhaps we were luckier than we should have been, but I'll take it. Screw it, you know? Now suddenly the heals are uh, really punishing us. Okay, thank God that scared the hell out of me. Well, this is pretty bad too. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. We could end this though before Redcoat takes a tick of damage. See you in hell, bastard. These nightmarish creatures can be fed. All right, they can be beaten. I it, that didn't really matter, but I don't want to take any chances with bleeding. All right. The wizened shrew. This appears to be an elderly but shunned member of this damned court. What if we give you the blood? The shrew gifts you a treasure. Oh, thank you. That's the opposite of that other item that we did not take, the collar thing. That was a nice guy. a really nice guy. Wow. All right, we're out of here. I probably could have actually gotten rid of like the things that we were low on in terms of um That was a lot of gold for that mission actually. Wow. It's mainly because of those tapestry things. But yeah, I could have um gotten just a bit more gold, maybe uh I don't know how much you get, like, on reselling an item that you come back with, like a, a skeleton key or a shovel that you, get, that you didn't use. It probably wasn't that much, though. So, I don't think it matters that much. It doesn't, it doesn't even tell me, really. Maybe you just get the price that you spent on it back? That would be weird. So, I don't think that could be the case, either. Sandra is a flagellant, an actual flagellant. So that's fun. Okay, good. That was very good. Let the organ notes ring out from the Abbey. The sisters are gathering. We get that event so often, it's kind of boring now. Um, well then. Do we have two flat we have so many people that will only flagellate themselves? It's crazy. Okay. John Adams, now. Are you, why are you still here? The freaking caretaker is still there, still gambling. He's like an actual addict. I was gonna say other, I, I was cycling through words in my mind. So that's the most polite thing I could think of. Um, well, hell. Well, we got a lot of gold. This is good. Here, Andy, you can go drink. Freaking John Adams can't do a damn thing. Um, Kian, you almost died there, so go to the brothel. I don't know. I mean, there's no connection there, really, so whatever. And Joshua. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
Awesome. We have lots of blood. So we should be fine for a good while, I would say. Defender seal. 5% protection, negative 1% crit. Not bad. Hmm. Oh, wow. Six deeds. Could be interesting. Could definitely be interesting. The quick draw charm, uh, 5% crit on the first round. I mean, maybe that might be interesting, but at the most I'd see someone having like 30% crit. I don't see someone having something stupid, like a 50% chance of crit on the first round, but I don't know. I don't know. This is another veteran mission, so that's um, lovely. We could just go on an, an, another level one mission, but I think veteran's fine. Just who would we take out though? Hmm, Lissette, Maminot, AJ, and well, I kind of want to take Duskwood out. Oh, frick. Um, but this is a veteran mission, so maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Eldrov is back, so... We could have Eldrov come along as a healer. That would be overkill, but... I think that's a good way to guarantee everyone gets out of here alive. Alright. Alright. So, time to give this back, as well as the Surgeon's Charm. I've also heard this pronounced Kyrujin. I don't know why, or if that's just a dialect thing, but I, I don't know if that's the correct way to pronounce that. Um, it's possible. I would say surgeon, but whatever. Okay. So we do have interesting trinkets for the Plague Doctor, Lissette in particular. A 40% blight um, skill chance increase and a 20%? That'd be frickin' 60%. That'd be huge. Sure, why not? Why not? Why the frick not? Now with AJ, this will be interesting. Let's get let's get rid of Burston's head and instead have the shard of glass be here. So that's awesome. Now we also have this. Wait. Hmm. The punishment hood act I mean punishment's hood seems actually kind of worse. Than the bleed omelet. Because, great, they do this, the same amount of bleed skill chance increases. Increasing, rather. This one has negative 20% uh, healing skills. He is a healer, so. Kind of. So, um, that's bad. Whereas this just gives plus 20% bleed resistance. That seems freaking amazing in the Crimson Court, especially. I'm gonna leave him as he is. Uh, let's give him Barristan's head. And I think that's it. Okay. Sort by level. All right. This is all really expensive, and I do not like it. Mm. Let's go with Insanguinate. That's just, that's uh, pff. we're gonna be poor really quickly. Eldrop's good to go, thank goodness. 
Now, here comes weapon upgrading, to which point, I mean... Now, this is what really kills us. This really kills our gold here. And our trinket selection as well, but that's a that's that's a different story, really. Swift cloak, man, a, a, an uncommon trinket barely sells more than a really like. I mean, yeah, it sells barely. It sells almost for. I mean, okay, so the the, the price difference between a uncommon trinket and a common trinket is basically nothing. Is what I was trying to say. Mm, this will be important. Sure, why not? 2,725 gold. That's what we're going to go out with. And we'll see how that turns out, huh? We'll be doing this mission on the next run. Six deeds are the reward. 6,750 is the gold amount that we'll get. And we'll get the speed charm, but who really cares about that? Maybe that's amazing and I don't know it, I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you on the next episode. This is Krendis, signing off for now, and take care.